Yeah. Here we are again. Thank you all for coming out. It uh, is clearly not an ice cream night. But two weeks from tonight, two weeks from tonight, put it on your calendar, August 7th. Eight. The ice cream will be here. The foundation will be here. We will be talking from this microphone. You won't be able to hear us, but there will be ice cream. So I appreciate if you'd all put that on your calendar and you can come see all the other people in Whitefish Bay while we're here. Stay tonight. Stay tonight? What happens tonight? <laughs> Fran thinks we're going to still play tonight. That, with that build up, right? All right, here we go. Um, first of all, we start with some sad news, as you may have read in the Whitefish Path. Wally Just, 90 years old, passed away last week. Wally was one of the original members of the Whitefish Bay Community Band. He was a tuba player. He was. Uh, one of the founders that kept this thing going, he was here all the time. We've missed him this year. He's been playing up until last year. And we will have more to say in a dedication to Wally and others who have passed away next week. Uh, also in that same category, but still playing, is George Hardy at 90 years old. Our first piece is the Radetzky March. It is one of the three most popular marches ever written. The other two are... Stars and Stripes, Stars and Stripes Forever. The Victors! We, I, we have an introduction that has to be made maybe a little earlier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but this young lady over here who I'll introduce thinks there's something exciting about the Victor's March, which is the University of Michigan, wherever that is. <laughs> What's the other most popular of the three marches? No. Colonel Bogey. Colonel Bogey, Stars and Stripes, and Radetzky. Radetzky was written by John Johann Strauss in 1848, and it was written by his a commission to celebrate the Australian Field Marshal by the name of, guess who? Radetzky von Reditz for a victory in battle. Now the trio has two parts for you to consider. First of all, the trio was written in 3-4 when it started, and the, it was written in that 3-4 uh, form as the soldiers sang it when they came back from battle, but Mr. Strauss decided the march better be in 2-4, so he rewrote it, and that's the way we'll play it. But when you get to the trio, there was, the first time it was played before a group of officers, and they got to the trio, they started clapping their hands and stamping their feet. Some of you may have seen that when the Vienna Symphony plays on New Year's Day. So what we're going to do tonight is get you involved right from the get-go. When we get to that point, you start stomping your feet and clapping your hands, and Fran will turn around and get you started, right? Here we go, Radetzky March.
Their stomping and clapping is exceptional. How many kids do we have here? We got some dancers. All right, we don't need you right now, but we need you to warm up, so be ready. Blue Tango is not one that you dance to too well for young people. Anyway, it was composed by Leon Anderson, Leroy Anderson, in 1951. It got to the top of the Billboard charts on a Decca record. Think of what uh, number one is today on recordings versus Blue Tango. Anyway, the flip side of that recording, for those of you who remember, was Bell of the Ball. Anyone remember that? There are other recordings of the Blue Tango by groups like Hugo Winterhalder and his orchestra. Gary, no, Guy Lombardo and the Royal Canadians. Anyone remember that? And Les Baxter and his orchestra. Here's Blue Tango. Time for a little culture. Theme from the 18 troll Overture by Peter Ilya Tchaikovsky, written in 1880. He wrote it 
as a commemoration of the Russian defense of their homeland from Napoleon. And as some believe, it has nothing to do with the 1812 war between the U.S. and the British. But we do seem to play it a lot on the 4th of July. So tonight, with that as background, we are not going to play it. We're going to play it not with cannons, not with chimes, and not with fireworks. We're going to play it straight. 1812 Overture. Oh, uh -huh. 